this is my therapy. You know, every session we do on this show, I do on my show, it all feeds into like working through my shit in real time. Yeah. Yeah. I think the important thing for people to, that are watching this is just there is life is very, very difficult, but there is a way out of it. And, and these conversations, uh, talking to each other and communicating is the best way to do it, I think. Yeah, we have a lot to learn from each other, really. I mean, the, the more conversations I have with people, as Matt was saying, the more I learn about myself as well as other people's experiences. And it does give you a bit of, um, you know, uh, a courage to, to push forward when you hear somebody's story. You know, we've heard some extraordinary stories um, on this podcast, including, you know, yours. It's, it's great to be able to take all that and sort of gather it in, amongst your own experience and compare and contrast. And I'm nothing but motivated. And when I get off of these conversations, it may take me a few hours or days to, to really sort of, you know, let it all register. But I'm always leaving with a sense of, of like, wow, I need more of that. This is, this is the stuff of life, isn't it? And we talk about, you know, there's a reason why this podcast is called Stoke the Fire. And you mentioned at the top of this, like gathering around that fire, that sense of community that you get. And to me, that's, I've found my home here. I've found my home with music and lyrics. I've always tried to inspire and, and pull people out of themselves in that live music environment. But to get one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one -on -one and get really personal, I feel like I've gained so much wisdom because of that. So you sharing your story, people we've had on, it just all continues to help me grow as a human. And thankfully in time continue you know, that purpose filled life of helping others to see that they have strength within themselves to continue to change their own lives. Mm -hmm.